Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. What does this man, this building, and this cranberry have to do with Christmas? Let's find out. Great to have every single one of you back here today. It is story time. And like any good Christmas story, we have a tall, good-looking protagonist. His name is Carl Vresky. He's blonde, he's got blue eyes, he's well-built, and you know what? He's part of a group of 11 other business associates, plus their high-powered CEO, whose name is Hans. Now, they've come to the USA to have a business deal with the Nakatomi Corporation. And this takes place in Central City, Los Angeles. Now, this also takes place in the Nakatomi Tower on the 30th floor. So what you have is 13 businessmen from another country and 30 staff of the Nakatomi Corporation plus one poison pill. And you know what? Now we get into some really intense bargaining and back and forth discussions about cost and prices and what this deal is gonna cost. And you know what? Everything is going swimmingly for the German contingent. However, this poison pill that I talked about started running around the building hurting people. And you know what? Everything was gonna work out anyways, except Carl's brother dies. And then Carl, so incensed by grief, becomes enraged and shouts, Ah! I want blood! In his <clears throat> tall Germanic voice. And he does it with such authority in front of his boss, the CEO, and his boss is like, Whoa, you know, we have a business deal to get done. Let's get the business deal done first. However, Carl just can't seem to make that work. Anyways, him and the poison pill go running around the building in a cat and mouse game, having a terrible time of it. And you know what? Unfortunately, the business deal does go south for Carl. And that leaves us with one of the best Christmas stories of all time, Die Hard. And you know what? It is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Actually, it is my favorite Christmas terror Christmas story, bar none. And you know what? Give me a thumbs up if you agree. So what we're making is the Carl sidecar. Nice, simple, easy. We're gonna build this in our shaking glass, okay? The first thing you're going to use is your brandy of choice. Now I've got some St. Remy, a uh, VSOP, and I always like to say that um, VSOP stands for very special old people. Um, and you know what? Uh, doesn't really matter. It's a fantastic brandy. And I've got two ounces or 60 milliliters. The next thing you'll need is an orange liqueur of your choice. Now I'm using a Pierre Ferrand orange curacao. It is a nice dry orange curacao. For this we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Yes, brandy and oranges go together so well. We also need cranberry syrup. Now this is a homemade cranberry syrup. It's four ounces of uh, sugar, four ounces of water. Bring it to a boil, add some cranberries, lower the heat to about a mid-level heat until you start to hear them popping. Lower the heat a little bit longer. Let it simmer for a while. You're gonna get this beautiful red color. And you know what? You can't go wrong. For this, we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Yeah, look at that. Next, we need lemon because who doesn't like some lemon? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it here, you're gonna give this a bit of a roll. We need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. So we're gonna give that a bit of a cut. Put this back here, I don't know why I got rid of it. Grab your squeezing tool. Yeah, look at that. It's looking really, really nice and Christmassy at the moment. Smells good. Grab your ice. And we're going to add ice to this, which I've just demonstrated, of course. And we're going to shake this for 15 to 20 seconds. Actually, no, 10 to 15 seconds, I apologize. I seem to be confused. Yeah. Slap it with the strength of a thousand stair augs. Move that out of the way. 
Dry my hand off. Grab your cocktail glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a fancy coupe because look at it, you just can't go wrong. Now I'm going to double strain this because I wanna make sure that I filter out any little ice chips and if there's anything left in the syrup. Look at that, beautiful. It's a beautiful Christmassy color. You know what? For a garnish, we're gonna take a couple of fresh cranberries, throw them in there, let them kind of uh, float because they look nice. I am going to grab a nice leaf of sage that's now on the ground. And you wanna grab these before your grandma sticks them up a turkey's butt because of their, uh, you know, stuff in the turkey, right? Because who doesn't like a good leaf of sage? Give it a bit of a slap. Oh yeah, put that right there as well. Oh, beautiful. It is a Christmas drink. Let's ha see how good the side Carl tastes. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, you get the cranberry directly off there. You get the sage immediately to your nose. Oh yeah. Oh, that's very good. Mm. Mm -mm. Carl, you are a damn tasty man. And that just sounded funny, but that's okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Uh, you get the hints of the orange right there. You get the brandy coming through. It's nicely balanced. The uh, fresh cranberries inside the cranberry syrup do wonders. And you know what? It really goes well together. This is a great cocktail to have for Christmas dinner or afterwards while you're watching the best Christmas movie ever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring this to you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Yes, you too can have a Sterog just like Carl carries in Die Hard. Now the Sterog is a 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO bullpup assault rifle. And it does come standard with four magazines, a cap, and a spare bolt for left-handed shooters. But wait, there's more. It also comes with the cleaning kit and an American M7 or German KCB 77 M1 bayonet, all for the low price of many payments of $9.99. We'll get back to you.